Hi guys and welcome back. As you can see on the screen, we have something Halloweeny. Uh, this time it isn't an event because we've only just had one. This time it's the donkey shop. So he appeared outside the front of your castle. There he is. Clicking on him will take you to a, a traveling merchant's shop. The very top thing we have is a chest that has these special rewards in. They cost 110 diamonds for each chest and it says contents two to four epic items you might get a unique reward or a legendary item um, as i've said before in these chests where it says you might get something you probably won't get it and i've heard that you need to buy or open about 10 chests to possibly get one of these items so if you wanted all four, you've got to be looking at opening about 40 chests. As for these items, first we have the Mystic Pumpkin, legendary artifact. Triggers once in a while, which is as good as you can get for the different triggers. Um, it says Pumpkin Shower. Summons a Mystic Storm Cloud for six seconds. The Storm Cloud drops burning pumpkins that hit up to six enemies. Each pumpkin deals 2,700 damage depending on how far the enemy is from the artifact wearer. The greater the distance, the greater the damage. Ideally then you'd want to put this on your archer who is furthest away. Also the artifact wearer restores 3,900 own health per each pumpkin that hit an enemy. So it can do quite a lot of healing as well activates once every 12 seconds requirements level 35 to 45 and is a bit higher than us at the moment but we can save that for later and as soon as we hit level 35 of our troops we can equip it that's, that's pretty good i think i haven't seen it in action yet but it reads quite good the next item is the archangel ring a legendary ring includes damage 455 to 607 and crit 764 to 1082 if you're lucky enough to get the ring you'll get the damage number somewhere between 455 and 607 it's somewhat random and it's the same with crit too uh, once in a while deals an extra 2500 damage that is shared between the target and two random enemies it, it isn't that much damage to be honest it, they could have added a bit more damage to make it better but it is what it is and again requirements 39 to 40 so that's even higher again something you could get now and, and grow into later uh, the next item is the archangel amulet this has armor 764 to 1082 and health 5462 to 7281 both armor and health are quite good to keep your man alive it says the efficiency of all healing received by the unit is increased by 20% that's that's really good if you had that on a mage healing he would heal an extra 20% or if you had it on a tank with a sword that heals again he'd be getting an extra 20% healing so that's that amulet's pretty good the requirements are same as the ring 39 to level 40 and the amulet here they don't need a cooldown period unlike the artifacts so you get the extra all the time the last thing, the unique item, uh, is another artifact. Activates again once in a while, which is good. And it's a scarecrow. Summons a bad Santa scarecrow that inspires fear in two random enemies. Units affected by fear move erratically around the battlefield for 1.8 seconds. That means it selects two enemies and they just, well, like it says, run around the battlefield for 1.8 seconds. While they're doing that, they won't attack. So that will give you time to attack them. It kind of takes two enemies off the field for 1.8 seconds, which is obviously a good thing. Does not work if there are only two or fewer enemies left on the battlefield. 
and the activation time is high at 17 seconds something to keep in mind and again the level is 35 to 45 on that like I said you need to open about 10 chests to get possibly one of these items it might be more it might be slightly less it's, it's a gamble we'll do that just before the end of the video um, next going down diamonds and premium you got 30 days premium for half price three dollars and 19 Canadian dollars for me um, goblin assistant for 35 days is half price at six dollars and 49 you also get in events goblin assistant and premium for a couple of days at a time and they mount up 20% um, off diamonds still twenty dollars and sixty eight dollars and you only get you notice as well remaining one on these items so you can only buy it once you can also get a hundred diamonds for fifty thousand wood it's red here because I haven't got it and also another hundred diamonds for two hundred thousand gold when you have events which we haven't had any yet because this is quite a new account um, they do background wallpaper, a bridge, weather effects sometimes, flags and general bits and pieces for your castle like brickwork, tiles and, and windows. When an event comes, if you play the event and do quite well in the event, you'll get these items for free. If you missed the event or you didn't get the items, for $27 you can purchase them which to me is quite expensive here you can see uh, the background the bridge the flag you have a flag here and a big one in blowing in the breeze there these are the roof tiles they come in different shapes and colors depending on the theme these are the wall tiles which looks like bamboo for this one and the windows there is no weather effect on this one and that's $27 which like I say is quite expensive and I also don't like how in some of the events you have to earn these in my opinion if you are there playing the event you should get them as the reward okay next further down is pets like I said I think in the first or second video these can be quite expensive at nearly $10 and the Labrador, Beagle and Cat you can buy all year round these other ones you can only get through events or when this donkey comes just like the cat beagle and labrador the other pets don't do anything they just run around your castle they do look good though moving down again we have skins these are new vampire warrior skin baba yaga mage skin a zombie ranger archer skin and a pumpkin protector warrior skin for 100 diamonds I think this is probably worth buying if you've got 100 diamonds it changes the look the appearance of your warrior both his armor and his weapon providing you have I think it's a mace if you have a sword it won't work on the sword you have to be holding a mace so if your favorite weapon is a sword or an axe that's not going to equip on it just something to note but I think that's quite good for 100 diamonds and I'm gonna buy that these other ones they look good that's for female and that's how it looks on the male but again it's it's nearly ten dollars and it only changes the appearance it doesn't give you any bonuses like I say they look good but I'm not sure they're worth ten dollars these skins as well when you defeat a boss you'll get these skins you may have recognized some of these when you've been playing uh, mortalis skin the grav skin and these are 13 dollars which are about 10 dollars more than when you first defeated the enemy and all they are now are skins so you can apply them to change the appearance of your troops one troop at a time and it's for thirteen dollars or nearly fourteen dollars and you don't get the armor or weapon 
that's to apply to the armor and weapon you've already got so again to me it's very expensive for what it is and they go up the further down the um, single player missions you go next we have equipment and again there's two for the top row and just one in the bottom row for 300 diamonds you'll get a random legendary weapon another 300 diamonds for a, a random legendary armor 250 diamonds for a legendary ring and 250 diamonds for a legendary amulet and it's completely random what you're gonna get there the stats could be bad and it might not be an I the type of item you're wanting the two below it for a million gold which is again a huge amount I can't even hold that amount right now is for a legendary weapon and 250,000 wood again I can't hold that just now and that's for a legendary armor um, underneath that you've got for a thousand diamonds 3,000 badges of courage these are handy because you can buy some good things out of the arena shop these badges of courage are for the arena and for 500 diamonds you can get 1,500 badges of courage and again you can only buy one of these and then I, that's it 10 food chests for 90 diamonds you can buy one but you can buy up to 10 which is 900 diamonds these are good for the portal because you do go through a lot of food for the portal I'm not sure I, again I would want to spend diamonds on food uh, next to it is gold for a food chest that's 120,000 food for 250,000 gold and you can buy up to three of those if you play in the portal and you like the portal um, it's probably well worth trying to raid for the gold and buying the food chests because you do use them a lot in the portal um, and again last but not least for 150 diamonds you can buy five purple shards 10 purple shards you can craft a legendary item whether that be a weapon for a tank mage or archer or a piece of armor and you've got 10 of those you could buy which is 50 if you bought all of them you could craft five items next we have blue shards which again is the same with 10 blue shards you can craft a purple item or an epic item that they're cheaper again 15 diamonds same with the green I, I wouldn't recommend buying green shards to be honest and I definitely wouldn't recommend buying grey shards which are the, the worst you can get I know they're cheaper in price but they're not they're just not worth it really and that is the donkey shop okay let's try my luck I bought some diamonds which I don't normally do let's try my luck at opening these chests and hopefully we can get the pumpkin which I think is possibly the best item here let's open some chests fingers crossed guys got a legendary amulet got a legendary mace for a tank I shall bypass on the purples at the moment just look at the legendaries I get got a tank armor this would work well with a sword that would heal and also that amulet that has an extra 20% healing bonus this is a, a scepter for a mage only purple items in this one again most likely upgrades for some of the items I've got and again and again another legendary amulet all purples again unfortunately this is one of the annoying things about these chests you think it's 
you think it's going to be easy to get these items and as you can see it's not and this is always like this yeah this isn't bad got a legendary uh, archer armor and the scarecrow like I say this pretty much removes two enemies off the battlefield for 1.8 seconds that's a good chest okay my fingers are still crossed guys another legendary archer armor another tank weapon, another mace and another one, it likes giving me maces okay how many diamonds do I have now? I got enough for one more There you go guys, that, that's what I was hoping for, the Archangel Amulet. Yeah, that's the Travelling Merchant Shop. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy this video and see you again soon. Bye.